Hi guys, this is Daryl and welcome back to Sci-Fi Odyssey. Have you ever considered how learning a new language might change the way you think? What if it could alter your perception of time itself? Today we're deep diving into the First Contact sci-fi movie Arrival, unravelling how it intertwines the art of linguistics with the enigma of alien human communication. In Arrival, the world is abruptly visited by an enigmatic extraterrestrial beings, and as a result, humanity faces an unprecedented challenge to communicate with the unknown. At the heart of this cinematic masterwork lies a profound exploration of language, the tool we wield to understand the world around us, to unravel mysteries and forge connections. But Arrival isn't just a tale of first contact, it's a deep dive into the complexities and power of linguistics in bridging worlds and shaping the very limits of what we know to be possible. Today we'll unravel how Arrival intertwines linguistics with alien human communication, explore the movie's portrayal of the sapir Whorf hypothesis, and examine the real world implications of such an extraordinary encounter. But first, let's set the stage. 12 mysterious spacecraft dubbed shells by the military touch down across the globe. Panic and fascination rightly sweeps through humanity. But while the world scrambles for answers, the key to unlocking this cosmic puzzle doesn't come from a soldier or a politician, it comes from a linguist named Dr. Louise Banks. Portrayed with compelling depth by Amy Adams, Dr. Banks is the epitome of an unsung hero. Her battle is a transparent screen, separating her from the alien visitors known as heptapods. Her weapon is determination and the meticulous and measured use of language. Through a series of tense and tender encounters, she begins to decode the heptapod's complex written language, which is as visually striking as it is bewildering. You might think of Dr. Banks' journey as one of linguistic gymnastics, but with more at stake than a bit of groin strain. She decodes the alien writing, which looks like someone just left a coffee ring on the side table. If only my coffee morning spills could reveal the secrets of the universe. In the film, however, each circular symbol that aliens present has meaning that defies linear understanding. It takes us through a profound exploration of the sapir whorf hypothesis, a linguistic theory that posits language doesn't just give voice to our thoughts, but that it can shape them in fundamental ways. As Dr. Banks becomes more proficient in the heptapod's non-linear language, her very cognition begins to shift. The language grants her a perspective where time is not sequential thread, but a vast expanse that she can navigate in ways previously unimaginable. This transformation is central to Arrival's narrative arc and echoes the hypothesis's strongest form, linguistic determinism, which suggests that language limits and determines cognitive categories. The heptapod's language doesn't simply add to Banks' vocabulary, it expands the very horizon of her cognitive map. She starts to think like them, perceiving future and past not as separate, but as interchangeable, where knowing the future becomes as natural as remembering the past. The stakes continue to rise as any misinterpretation could lead to interstellar conflict, but Dr. Banks remains undeterred. In deciphering the heptapod's intent, she unravels a profound truth, that their language is a gift meant to unite humanity. In Arrival, Dr. Banks is more than just a linguist. She becomes a bridge between worlds, proving that sometimes the mightiest power is not force, but the ability to understand and be understood. Can you think of a time when language either connected you deeply with someone or caused a significant misunderstanding? In Arrival, the challenge of communication is beyond anything in the history of mankind. Yes, even smartphone contract terms and conditions. And Dr. Banks leads with the understanding that language is not just words, it's the representation of a culture, a thought process, an entirely different way of experiencing reality. She starts with the basics, the building blocks of language. She listens to the heptapods rumbling vocalizations, but quickly realizes that their primary mode of communication is their written language, a circular script where time has no beginning or end. Each inky ring is a complexity of meaning defying the human concept of sequential structure. It's a slow but tense process of trial and error, teaching basic human vocabulary, then piecing together the alien responses to form a lexicon. 
As Dr. Banks learns the heptapod language, she begins to experience memories of the future. The language actually rewires her brain, enabling her to perceive time as the heptapods do, in a non-linear way. This exploration of language and perception is at the very heart of Arrival. It suggests that learning a new language can fundamentally change how we think, feel and see the world. For Dr. Banks, understanding the heptapods transcends communication. It becomes a transformative experience that alters her very understanding and perception of existence. Through Dr. Banks' journey, Arrival considers the idea that language is not merely a tool for expression, but a lens through which we can glimpse alternate realities and connect with others on a profound level. What do you think? Do you believe the language or languages that you speak shape how you see the world? Could learning a new language expand your worldview? Think about the many words from different languages for very specific cultural concepts that simply don't have translations, such as the Japanese koino yokan, a phrase for the feeling that begins when you meet someone you are going to fall in love with. You may not feel the love right away, but it's inevitable that you will. When we think of first contact in science fiction, our minds are often drawn to scenes of invasion, conflict and intergalactic warfare. But Arrival breaks the mould, opting for a narrative that's not driven by laser beams, but by the search for mutual understanding. In stark contrast to the genre's typical approach, Arrival presents a scenario where the biggest spectacle is the act of communication itself. There are no space battles or races to develop superweapons. Instead, there's a linguist, a whiteboard, and the daunting task of interpreting the intentions of extraterrestrial visitors. This film takes an approach that highlights the real complexities we might face if we ever come into contact with extraterrestrial life. Arrival asks us to consider the profound difficulties of learning not just new words, but an entirely new concept of thinking and perceiving. The realism in Arrival's portrayal of communication is poignant. It respects the patience, the setbacks and the eureka moments inherent in the process of language learning. The film acknowledges the vast chasm that would exist between human and alien forms of expression, and it dedicates itself to the tense and arduous bridge building required to cross this divide. In doing so, Arrival offers a refreshing and deeply human perspective on first contact. It suggests that the most profound connection with another intelligence would stem from the will to understand and to be understood, an endeavour that is both beautifully simple and infinitely complex. Science fiction often acts as a playground for the imagination, a sandbox where reality meets the extraordinary. The film's depiction of linguistics, with its heptapod language that defies linear time, takes a bold leap from our reality, yet it's grounded in genuine linguistic principles. While the idea of language that can alter human perception of time is purely speculative, that we know of, but the cognitive impact of learning a new language is well documented. Linguists often speak of thinking differently when operating in a second language, hinting at the milder effects of the Sapir-Whorf hypothesis experienced in our daily lives. If we think about George Orwell's concept of newspeak in his dystopian novel 1984, newspeak is designed to diminish the range of thought, to constrict expression and maintain control. It's a chilling reminder of language used not as a tool of enlightenment, but as a mechanism of control. This portrayal underscores a darker aspect of linguistic influence, where language is manipulated deliberately to restrict thought and manipulate consciousness. Arrival and 1984 serve as a compelling narrative on the power of language over thought, one offering a vision of language as a means to expand understanding and perception, the other as a method of restricting and controlling it. Arrival not only explores linguistic frontiers, but also navigates the ethical and philosophical currents underlying communication. What is said, how it's interpreted, and the consequences are dissected under the movie's thoughtful lens. The ethical implications are vast. Dr. Banks' translations become a conduit for potential peace or war. Here Arrival probes the responsibility that comes with understanding, the moral weight carried by those who bridge divides. It asks us, how do we tread the fine line between interpretation and misinterpretation, especially when the stakes transcend global boundaries? The movie also contemplates humanity's response to the unknown. It captures our collective tendency to ensure survival by meeting unfamiliar with defence rather than dialogue. Yet it also shows our great capacity for change and adaptability. 
Philosophically, Arrival also touches on the concept of determinism versus free will. The heptapod language offers Dr. Banks a glimpse of the future, challenging the very notion of choice. It raises the question, if our future is already written, what power do we truly hold in the present? In grappling with these ethical and philosophical dilemmas, Arrival offers a profound narrative. It's more than just a sci-fi story. It's a philosophical inquiry into the very nature of human existence and the bridges we build with language. My own takeaway from Arrival is a hopeful one. I believe it suggests that language is not just a tool for communication, but a pathway to understanding deeper truths about our existence and the universe. In a world often divided by words and where words can be used to suppress truth and ideas, Arrival inspires the notion that it's through words and our willingness to understand them that we may find our greatest commonality. But what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time. Thanks so much for watching. If you're craving an extraordinary journey through realms unexplored, consider delving into universes directly out of my brain by checking out my sci-fi novels Black Milk and Delphine Descends. You can find more details in the description. Thanks for your support.